I was on the canvassing board. I read the rules and the laws of the canvassing board, and whatever they were, I lived by them. Okay. And you served on the board uh, despite the prohibition uh, against um, any person serving who actively supported the campaign. Um, give me that question again, please. Yeah. I don't quite understand. You. There is a prohibition against anyone who actively supported supporting a candidate from serving on the canvassing board. Do you agree with that? I agree. That that may be one of the rules. I don't have it in front of me, but I believe it may be one of the rules. And you served on the canvassing board. That's no matter what that rule says, you served on the canvassing board. I served on the canvassing board, and I did not actively campaign for anyone. I understand you testified to that. Yes. And Mayor Calderwood was served. Yes, I've served on the campaign board every year uh, since I've been city manager. I think that's the way this has been done. And the mayor and the city manager and uh, one other person. And that other person was Roseanne Morris. Yes, sir. Who is Roseanne Morris? Uh, she's a business owner in the community. Uh, uh, owns a bookstore downtown. A very involved citizen. Very. Uh, committed citizen, and uh, uh, we we're proud to have her on our board. Did uh, Morris actively support a candidate in the election? Not to my knowledge. Did you suggest to Calderwood or Morris that they should step down and not serve? No, I did not. Who else was present in a, an official capacity at the time the canvassing board met on April the uh, 11, 2006. The room was pretty full, cool, so I really can't. I know I was here, the, the mayor, Ms. Moore, uh, the deputy clerk. Um, and that's Mr. Henderson. Henderson. Yes, uh, Chair Henderson, no relation. Uh, she was here as well as Diane Morgan. The staff members now, all the citizens in the... I, I wasn't about that. Okay, that's pretty much okay. it. And the city attorney. Uh, was here, and um, if it was someone else, my it escaped my mind this time. Okay, city attorney, uh, King Mary Rush. That is correct. Okay. Now, you use the uh, word here. You mean where we are sitting? This, this is where the in this. Yes, here, City Hall. Right. Now, what documents, or reports, or logs, or lists, or other papers pertaining to the election did Mr. Henderson or other city or staff members bring to the candidacy board meeting? We had a list of um, all of the absentee ballots. Um, and a list of problem signatures. I think mine was one. Um, that's what I recall right now. I would have to look at the documents to see what all we, we had there, but I know we had those the absentee ballots, the list of the uh, discrepancies where someone may have had a signature and that signature may have changed after 10 years or whatever, therefore they had some questions on that and we had to uh, uh, address that issue as well as um, uh, uh, the um, uh, ballots themselves. The now, Mr. Watson, uh, you referred to your signature a moment ago. Yes. And I, I don't want, I'm not interested in how you voted for the election. Mm -hmm. I, I am interested in whether or not you voted by absentee ballot. I did. Okay. And, and where? Uh, in the deputy clerk's office. And, and could you describe to me the process by which you cast your ballot? <laughs> I really don't remember. I did it by absentee and, you know, um, look at the box and decided which candidate I wanted to vote for and uh, put it back in the box in this envelope with this with the paper in it and and seal it back up and sign across it. I, I can't quite remember exactly, but I definitely voted absentee 
and I think I voted absentee the last few years. When, when you had you sealed the ballot back up, did you hand it to somebody? You don't remember. I think I put it somewhere. I, I don't recall. I put it at a, a designated spot, if my memory serves me correctly. What time did the canvassing board uh, convene on the night of uh, April the 11th? I believe 8 o'clock. And the polls closed at? The polls closed at 7, and then we have to wait for the different precincts to get everything here and get it here and, you know, all those uh, things of that nature. And where was the absentee ballot box between uh, 7 o'clock p.m. and 8 o'clock p.m.? It should have been uh, locked in one of the offices. You don't know for sure. Which one? It was what, what are the choices? It should have been the Jeff the Kirk's office, and then we bring it here. Oh, in here. Mm-hmm. What is time to convene? And during Before that, that is locked up in the office there. And during that period of time, uh, did uh, anyone have access to the room in which the box was located? No. No one at all? No, shouldn't have. No, no other than the deputy clerk, but he governs it. The deputy clerk? Yes. And who was in charge of the security against tampering? Uh, the deputy clerk. And uh, did anyone open the box or otherwise tamper with the ballots during that period of time between 7 and 8? Not to my knowledge. It appears secure when it was brought up here at, for the uh, uh, process. Was it locked? Yes, I think it was. Yes. Now I'm going to hand you uh, what will be explained to the for which is a composite exhibit and provided to the city council. I'd like to just look at it and uh, the plaintiff's number is P0001 through P0009, I think, the box. I'd like you to look at the first page, Mr. Watson, P0001, and it says on the top, Ballot Accounting Form, City Vote, Flash for Election, April 11, 2006, correct? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. And this is Precinct 38? Yes. Yeah. Right. And, and then if you turn over to 04, you have a similar form that appears to be uh, Precinct 63? Yes. And then over to page 7. Yes. Similar document from Precinct 7, is that correct? Yes. And I, I take it then that the three precincts in Malachi are 3, 8, 63, and 70. Am I figured that out right? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, now, do you recall having seen these documents? On the on on the night the Canvassing Board met, I don't recall. So I, I really don't recall. <clears throat> I'd like you to uh, turn to page P O O five. This is the a page from Precinct 63, or purports to be, doesn't it? Yes, sir. And under number of provisional ballots, it stated that there were four. Is that not correct? 
That's correct. And then further down under TSX Accounting, 